My name's Wreck-It Ralph. I'm gonna wreck it! 30 years I've been doing this. I can fix it! It's hard to love your job when no one else seems to like you for doing it. You're just the bad guy who wrecks the building. Ah! <gasps> I'm okay. I'm okay. If I'm really honest with myself, it sure must be nice being the good guy. Ralph, you are bad guy. But this does not mean you're bad guy. I don't want to be the bad guy anymore. Ralph abandoned his game. Welcome to Game Central Station. Bad guy coming! Everything changes now. Where's Ralph? Oh, sorry, Cubert. It's me, Ralph. Ralph's gone to hero's duty? Fear is a four-letter word, ladies. You want to go pee-pee -pee in your big boy slacks? Keep it to yourself. Hi, mister. You're not from here, are you? Sugar Rush? You're game jumping? Hey! Aha! You wouldn't hit a guy with glasses, would you? Aha! You hit a guy with glasses. That's... that's well played. Without Ralph, we're doomed! They're gonna pull our plug! Ah! What's that? A medal. I earned it in Hero's Duty. <laughs> it's not that kind of duty. I bet you really gotta watch where you step in a game called Hero's Duty. <laughs> Some nights I stay up, casting in my bed. We can't change who we are. You can't mess with the program, Ralph. <laughs> Some nights I'll be Everyone here says I'm just a mistake. You ready for this? What do I stand for? Not leaving you here alone. Well, let's close out with the bad guy affirmation. I am bad. Ah! And that's, that's good. good. I will never, never be good. good. Oh, no, 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 no. And, and that's, that's not, not bad. bad. Oh, that thought. There's, There's no one I'd rather be than me. Hey! Why do I fix everything I touch? It's make your mama's proud time! I love my mama! Oh, good. The cops. Hold still. Ow! Take that! What are you doing? One game at a time, Ralph. So, first off, let me say I am definitely seeing this movie. The question is, will anybody else be in the theater with me? Uh, so let's start with the positives. Uh, first of all, I love that Disney has, able, has been able to update their animation to the CGI format while still staying very true to their, their Disney look. You know, very colorful, rounded look. I think the character design here is absolutely fabulous. The world building, love it. I'm really impressed not only with the quality, but the range. They're able to depict all these different games so well and in such depth and detail. It looks like a really good expensive Disney movie or a good Pixar movie or you know DreamWorks these days you know it really looks like they, they did their homework so I, I love that I, I really think and I think all the games feel authentic I think that's wonderful uh, next I think Sarah Silverman is going to be the standout person here I love the voice work she's doing she sounds hilarious uh, and the great thing is you can't tell it's her so that actually segues into my negative feelings about the trailer uh, or not even, I don't know if negative, but where I feel it runs into trouble maybe with the general public. Uh, Jack McBrayer and uh, Jane Lynch, wonderful comedians, but I feel that they're so, that, that their characters are so entrenched in people's minds, the audience's mind, that, you know, I just see them whenever, whenever even I just hear their voices. So I find that very distracting. It kind of makes me wish they hadn't been chosen, particularly uh, with the Jane Lynch character because that female hero's duty character looks so cool, but yet I just I just feel it's Sue Sylvester from Glee. So that kind of takes away from the originality and the, the coolness of it and making it its own. So I, I'm a little disappointed with those voice actor choices. Uh, the other problem that I think the movie might have occurred to me here, not when I wa watched the first trailer, but the game jumping might be difficult for your overall mainstream audience. Uh, they've, as I said, they've done such a good job creating these realistic games that I wonder if the people who like the, hero, uh, the Hero's Duty segments are going to enjoy the Sugar Rush uh, segments. Because, you know, Ralph's old school game and Hero's Duty are kind of a match because I think they're both uh, video games that a certain type of video game player uh, enjoys, particularly male, that male audience. Uh, but Sugar Rush is very much your kids but your kids' girl audience, uh, not even little boys, so you're not going to have that nostalgia factor with your male audience. So for that important uh, male teen demographic, while they might have enjoyed, you know, the old school look at Ralph and then the new Heroes Duty stuff, are they going to be able to sit through the Sugar Rush 
segments. I don't know, that's not really going to be up to the humor. I did like the glasses joke, hit a guy with glasses joke, that was, that was really clever. And the final thing I want to say about the movie is that it's really nice that Disney, you know, is famous for its princesses, but here they have two really different new female characters with the Sarah Silverman and Jane Lynch characters. Uh, really great, really well designed. I hope they catch on. I hope people like them as much as the princesses. Those princesses are tough to beat and they are Disney's bread and butter for a reason. But uh, what do you think of uh, this new Wreck-It Ralph trailer? Uh, do you think that people will be interested in, in game jumping like Ralph? Or do you think you might jump to some games that some people might be like, let's keep moving, let's keep going? Uh, and how does the movie look to you? Be sure to write your thoughts down below, and as always, thank you for coming to be on the trailer, not just for the latest trailers, but for these quick snapshot reviews. Bye.